There we go. Uh, this is the Lost Kitty, and we're hoping for pink. Pink is always great. Love these little milk cartons. It's easy for kids to open up. It's almost like they're at school. But your guide you have one of those already. And then get that out. There's your compound. We have white, which is cool. It's okay because we love the compound. Compound is awesome, and they do, which I don't think anybody we've showed you that before. They actually put like a little uh, sprocket on there. Reminds me of the little spiral, like Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs> I like that part. So they do stamp that on the clay before. It's cool. Let me dig it out. It always takes a while to get it out, but. Just love that. It's fun. It's like you're digging. Uh, it's all in the little Hasbro commercial. It's supposed to be like kitty litter. <laughs> you're digging through the kitty litter. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that, but I do like the discovery part for children. You get that dexterity in there. Fingers going. And you can take this and reclaim it. And we're going to do that. We're going to reclaim it. So we're going to keep this little plastic container. You can use it to store your uh, clay, your compound in when you're done. So that's always really nice. Yeah. Oh, look at this sesame. Oh my goodness, that is totally awesome. It's a little plunger. I like that. And we get a ducky. Yay! Little ducky there. And who's our little fellow that's on the inside? This part. I discovered it's really nice because even before you open up the packaging you can see who's on the inside got this little guy here so who is he let's get his name that I think is Francis he's from the working it series let's find out let's open this up Oh, no, look at that. I cannot believe. The little kitty sitting in the toilet. That is awesome. That is, I really just watched the video how to make a doll toilet. So that's, that's just perfect, and, which explains the plunger and the duck. Because I don't know for you, but my kids and my grandkids love to put things in the toilet. Just have somebody put a stuffed animal in the toilet and dip it. That was lovely. And we had to call one of these one time. The guy with the plumber. <laughs> to get some other things out. But, you know, that's part of having children. We love that. So that's cool. So let's find out exactly. This is called Flush. Perfect. Love Flush. Awesome. Can you get any better than that? And I love the textures that they have here. See a little water dripping out. That's pretty cool. Got some water coming out because he's in the little pot can't love that even more so we put this back in here right now let's see who else we have we're gonna push you over to the side some boxes I, I promise you I'm gonna think of something that we're playing these boxes for don't know what but that's gonna be awesome put this off here Hard at all. <laughs> and another thing I was trying to say, um, Vincent may go with the spiral, but that reminds me of steampunk. I love steampunk. We do steampunk for Comic Con. Awesome little figure. Let's get him out. Get him all the way out. So we have white again. So remember, white is rare. I mean, white is common. Brown is rare. <laughs> Look at his brown. <laughs> And then we have pink for ultra rare. So. Oh, no, I hasn't seen your knitting. No, I hasn't. Love that English. <laughs> and it's a little, oh no, it's a little paintbrush. Oh, we love the paintbrush. How cool is that? 
And then we have, I don't know what this is. Don't know, but this is nice. I discovered that on another one. So when we had another lost kitty, we took some of the compound and we pressed it down in it. Because it has little, little molds. Look at there. Little molds you can use. Because ultimately you want you to take the compound and make something for the kitty. So we're, we're definitely going to do that too. We'll have a little picture of that. And the one I really loved, it came with this little sardine. So we thought it was really cool that you could take and press it down in there. Get little fish and take the fish and kind of cut them out, pull them out. The adults can do that. <laughs> and they can have little fish. So some of these come with little molds, which I think is adorbs. Let's put this back. And let's see who's on the inside here. Open this up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Somebody got a hold of the yarn. Look at the details on that. It's great. The details on it. Hasbro, you go for the compound alone. Hasbro, you get like five splashes, right? Pop, five paint, paint splashes for that. And then the details. We love details and textures. How that feel? That feels nice. So, a little bumpiness. Pretty cute little fellow there. <laughs> And I love this. And this has got to be some type of hot dog. Yeah, it's a little hot dog. But I like this little mold in the back. So it's cool that some of them actually have. Let me see if they're plumber. That's nice. We can use that. Let's try that out. Let's put the clay inside the little plunger. Oh, I guess it has like a little bump on it. I'm not going to lie. It kind of looks like poop. So I guess that's perfect. Because he is... It's supposed to be called flush. So if you put this in here, press it down, pull it out, and we got poop. <laughs> I know the kids will love that. <laughs> so that's nice. Great. So let's, we got two more. Push these off to the side here. Over here, little fella. And then let's see what else we have. And see squad goals. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's look and see what squad that one is part of. He is actually part of, I don't know, I don't see him over here. I know he's got to be in here somewhere. We'll have to find him later. I don't know what squad he's in, because I don't see the, the little guy that I have here. But I like him. He's part of some squad. We'll look and see. We're going to open up a few more of these and go through each one and kind of see what's, what's inside. So let's do that. Get really quickly. Oh my goodness, we got brown. Oh look guys, we have brown. So now we have one of every color now. White, we have pink. And we have brown with the cool steampunk slash Vincent Van Gogh symbol. Got a surprise about Vincent Van Gogh and Jacob Lawrence in our toy store. You'll see that in that video. You have to check that out. Oh, that sounds a little bit harder to get out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know. I love that we have brown because we didn't have that before. But don't know how I feel about the brown. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And the little mean is way, way, way down in there. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Victory! Got it out. We'll get the rest of it. And what does this one say? Where is milks? Where is milks? <laughs> Let's see what accessories we have. We have it's like a little tray of some sort. A paw print tray, and I want to say the that desk skateboard. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I like that. So, we have a tray, and we have a cool little skateboard. Nice, 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 nice. Let's look the figure now. 
And there he is. I like that. Your little stripes in there, little zigzags, little texture on the hair. Really cool. And we got these at the dollar store. So Dollar Tree is what's clocky called call the Dollar Store, but Dollar Tree. So let's figure out. This is Sketch. Nope. It's not Sketch. Who are you, little fella? Yeah, I think you are Sketch. Yep. You're Sketch. So that's interesting. So this little guy came with this stuff and he's called Sketch. So I'm going to say that maybe that's a sketch pad. We're going with sketch pad, even if it's not. But I love how the other one came with a paintbrush. But that one's called sketch. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? We have here, we have Lofi. And what I love about Lofi, he's part of the hashtag gnome squad. And we have the little one over here and he is part of gnomes also, right, which is really nice. And we also have Thimble right there. There's Thimble. There is Sketch, and they're part of the same group, which is called Cathletics. So these two are part of gnomes. That's just the itty bitty kitty. And he's part of the, you know, little kitties, uh, lost kitties, excuse me. And then we have over here, we have which is was kind of hard for me to say but if if it's so if if it's right that's flush there with his little plunger he loved that plunger <laughs> and we have um oi it's spelled o-h-a-i i'm probably saying it wrong but he's part of the catitude and all of these are series number one then we have adorbs over here and he's um, it's part of the, excuse me, the Adorb Squad. His name is Napkin. So we see a little napkin over here. He's napping. See, he's napping. Nap, 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 nap. And he's also part of the, um, the series, uh, one. And his name is Napkin. And then we have Baller. That was from our first video that me and Sonala and I did. And Ballers, we couldn't figure out what he was doing. And we realized, oh yeah, he's playing with the ball of yarn. <laughs> And he's also from series two. So he's a series two. And we have over here, we have our little girl Karen. She's the shopper. We love her because she's a little shopper, just like me. Um, and then we have, which I still think is so funny, Happy Pants. So Karen and Happy Pants are part of hashtag all grown up. And we have Napkin and Baller. They're part of hashtag adorbs. But um, Baller is from series two and Napkin is from series one. And then we have over here, we have Flush. He's by himself. He doesn't have anybody cry cry with his um, his squad. Uh, he's from hashtag if if it's. We have Cathletics over here. We have Sketch and Thimmo. So they're from the squad Cathletics play on name athletics I'm going to assume and we have Lofi he is part of hashtag gnomes along with um, I think his name is buttercut buttercut I'm going to check that but he's um buttercut he's also part of hashtag gnomes let me look at that really quickly he's an itty bitty kitty and oops making a mess here I'm going to say yep yeah, his name is butternut <laughs> So Butternut is spilling some ice cream. I want you to get a good look at this. He's spilling a little bit of ice cream here. Put it in my hand like that. So Butternut, maybe he has Butterfingers and he's spilling. That's why he's like that. Who knows? But I like it. I really can't. I would say he has to be my favorite. Lofi has to be one of my favorites and the little guy in the toilet. And ballers and of shoppers. But if I had to put him in order. He's definitely tops. <laughs> and um, happy pants because, you know, he, he doesn't look happy at all. Not happy at all. But really cute with that little pink hair. And so these are all the little accessories. Now remember the itty bitties don't come with accessories. They just come with meme stickers. You see those here. And the uh, uh, lost kitties, all of those come with 
the meme sticker and their accessories, which are totally cute. And Kit Z was right. She had called this a cookie in the first video. We didn't know what it was, but it is a cookie. And their um, memes are cute. I'm going to just read those again. I has a snack, but it disappeared. That's for Toasty. No, I hasn't seen your knitting. That's for um, Thimble. Where is Milks? That is for Sketch. Uh, cannonball, which, duh, finally got it. He's making a cannonball into the toilet. That's Flush. I, when I read that, I was like, wow, look at that cannonball. And we, I have, somebody had to help me with that. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I, I want to say that is some form of what, but it might be Japanese. So we're not just going to, so we're just going to say, I like it. And this one, I'm, I'm assuming that's hello. And then this one is a napkin. Shh. It's a napkin for Mr. Uh, napkin over there. And Ballers, his says, hey, rolling, roll, help rolls me over. Sorry. <laughs> And we have, I shop like a boss. That's my girl right there for um, Karen. And then we have over here, really? You think this is funny from my serious man over there? And my last one I have is ice cream fails for my itty bitty over here. The itty bitty guy, butternut. <laughs> That's too adorable. Like, I have really explored my inner child with this series, and it's just wonderful. Um, you got to pick one up. Like I said, we got these at the Dollar Tree. You can't get them online, but they're mad expensive. Um, so if you can find them at the Dollar Tree, that is a steal right there. I have seen these at um, Five Below for like $2.99. So, but we love a bargain because we do have a budget. And so this budget right here is great. And you get some... Nice little art compounding. They do want you to play with it and make stuff for the kitties, so make sure you do that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, my social studio is out. Please remember to like, ring that bell, post, and share.